This is right turn, left turn, stop or slow down. It felt like a little breakdown. What's up, you guys? The day has come for me to share with you my journey to getting my driver's license. It has been absolutely insane. Literally, I tried years ago, gave up, then tried multiple times again just recently, and it has been insane. So, today's episode is all things journey to driving. So a lot of you guys have always been flabbergasted when I say I don't have a driver's license and I've never had one. I don't know why it shocks so many of you. I feel like if you were a true native New Yorker like myself and a proper Manhattanite, you would be like, duh, of course she doesn't have a driver's license. Like, where are you going in that car? And when you arrive, where are you parking it? My mom never had a license. My sister didn't have, I actually didn't know any women in my family that had a license. So I just always thought like, this is just the way it is. But obviously when I got to Los Angeles, people would bug out over the fact that I didn't have a license. Some of you may think that like, I've just never wanted a license. The lie detector determined that was a lie. I've just never spoken about the fact that I did attempt to get it in like my early 20s. I was dating Rob at the time and I would drive his Range Rover Sport. I don't know if I was very good at it at the time, but I just figured, hey, if I'm whipping this, I can go take my test. And I actually was taking lessons uh, with a driving instructor. He set up the appointment. I went and took my road test and that did not go as planned. Your girl didn't fail. No, sir. She got disqualified. If you're wondering what the difference is between failing and a DQ, it is the moment someone has to step in to save your life. You are automatically disqualified from getting a license. I was coming up to an intersection that I was supposed to make a left at, and as I pulled up, the light went red. Granted, at some point, yes, it was yellow, but I stopped because I saw that it went red, and in my mind, I'm like, yo, you can't run a red light on your driving test. And so I stopped. And at that point, the guy that was giving me my test was like, you have to keep going. And I was like, ah. And he's like, I literally stopped in the middle of the intersection. He's like, you have to keep going. And then from there, he told me to pull over. And he's like, you've been disqualified. And he drove us back to the DMV. And when I came home from my driving test, I was like, um, I didn't pass. But they had this whole cake there that had little cars on it ready for me to celebrate. I think Courtney didn't pass her first time, and so I felt a little bit better, but I'm not gonna lie, I was super discouraged, and I never tried again for almost 15 years. That's crazy. So here's the thing. Moving back to New York crazy enough is what motivated me to want to get my license. I know that sounds insane because you're like, well, you just said you don't drive in the city. I don't live in the city. I live in an area called Westchester, which is like 38 minutes from the city, but it's very suburban living. I can drive to like my local gym. I can drive to Whole Foods. I can drive to my sister's house and be there in 15 minutes. And that really motivated me to want to get my license, especially when my sister got hers. That was like groundbreaking in our family because none of the women have ever had a license. Only the men had licenses in our family. I just think that's super bizarre now that I look back on it. Comment below if you had a similar upbringing because I have no reason for why the women didn't have, I don't know, we thought our husbands were chauffeurs. I don't know what it is. But I definitely got into a place of like defending the fact that I didn't have a license by saying I was born to be driven. I didn't realize that having a driver's license to some extent is a life skill, like something you should have, especially when I started thinking about family planning and being someone's mom at some point. If my child has an emergency, I can't sit there and wait for Uber to arrive, especially in the area that I live in. It would take like 15 to 20 minutes for a car to arrive. I should be able to jump in the car and help my kid. So here is some footage from me preparing in New York to come to LA to take the test. Why are you driving a little faster today? I got a little bit of confidence. Just a little bit, the slightest bit of it. 
I played a lot of, uh, I played these games a lot at uh, Dave & Buster's. <laughs> yeah, the I drive. killed this at Dave & Buster's. I like always win. This feels like Mario Kart to me. Like Yoshi's about to pop out of nowhere and be like, oh it's God. me, Mario. Why? Like, 10 and 2 hoes, 10 and 2. What's the hell, your hands? Oh my God, you don't even yeah, know. Yeah, I do. All right, some of you guys might be thinking to yourself, okay, why didn't she just take her test in New York? A few reasons. One, I really wanted a California license because I knew that I would mainly be driving in New York while living there. And my husband says that if you have an out-of-state license and our Range Rover out there has California plates, that I could be like, oh, I'm from out of town. And sometimes they are kinder to you. If you're like, I'm from out of town, I didn't know. Like they actually might be more lenient. Comment below if you have thoughts on this. While being in New York, I started getting this idea that, okay, I'm going to go to LA. I'm really gonna focus. I'm really gonna be super structured. There's some real goals that I have for the next four weeks. And I'm very much like that. Like I will give myself a certain amount of time to get something done. So I was like, okay, you're gonna be in LA for four weeks. Is this working on the Worship Anywhere project? I'm gonna be here kind of on my own. I can really focus on the things that I wanna focus on. And that was really getting in shape getting my driver's license. I actually started taking, without anyone knowing, little practice exams for my permit on the DMV website. Like I'd go on and just take little, because I knew the written test was gonna be really, really hard. I'd already been doing a lot of the driving, but the written test is pretty difficult, especially when it's asking you, in the rain, if you're on a hill, do you have your wheels to the left, to the road, or to the side? Listen, it got confusing, okay? I was, so nervous. I think you also get um, three chances to take the test. I think you have to wait like a little bit and then go take it again. So I finish it and it says I passed on the first try. And I'm so happy. I look over to Lana, she's waiting in the corner and I'm like, I pass, I pass. So then I wait, they take my picture for the permit and I go home with that. Now I go online and set up my appointment for the actual road test. The place that I went to take my permit test was Arlita. Now, I don't know if any of you guys know California well, but Arlita is in the valley and it's actually pretty far from my house in Beverly Hills. And a lot of people were like, why are you here? And I was like, listen, Lana's trying to tell me that this is where she got her license at and I've seen how she drives, I'm gonna be straight here, okay? I was like, it's gonna be just fine because Lana can't drive. And when I walked in, I remember some of the girls being so they're like, wait, are you age? I'm like, Yes, I'm here to take my my driving test. And not gonna front, I was like, you know, send me a nice person to take the test with. And I went with the first guy um, that was in the line, like literally as you pull up. And according to him, I was driving too slow. And then while entering, the DMV once the driving test was over and coming back, I had to make a right into the DMV parking lot and there was a bicycle lane and I didn't check my blind spot for a bicyclist and I just went for it. And that my friends is how I failed my driver's test. Right then and there, sitting in the parking lot, I don't even pull off, I literally make the next appointment. Can't stop, won't stop, we gonna get this license, okay? Now at this point, I'm like, I think I need to go to driving school. There was a lot of rules that I didn't know. For instance, like I didn't know that you can't switch lanes at an intersection. I also didn't know that when you are trying to make a left on an intersection, if there are two people, two people can go on red and make the left. Does that make sense? Like I didn't know that there's a number, like a one, two, and if you're the third person, you can't go. I didn't know that if you're at the intersection ready to make the left and your light goes to red, you can go on yellow. I didn't know this. So once again, I signed up for driving school. And on my first day of driving school, I get in the car and it's this sweetest guy named Gilberto. I learned something really cool. Okay, it's called, um, don't tell me, wait. Smog. Smog is the four things that you have to use, kind of like checklist in your mind that you go through in order to change lanes. So, smog is signal, mirrors, 
over the shoulder, go. Isn't that good? Come through driving school. Good old Gilberto takes me around and does like five days of practice with me. And then he actually takes me in his car to take the test. Honestly, because I felt like the Range Rover was pretty big and kind of bulky for turns and that kind of stuff. And I felt like driving in the smaller car was easier. This time, the guy that was giving me the exam, just keeping it real, his energy was caca. He rolled up to the car already kind of like, like put your mask on. I'm like, oh, oh yeah, like, I'm sorry. Like that just was off. Cause I was in my car by my, you know, so I'm like, oh, okay. And then he gets in the car and before we even take off, he literally says not a word to me. Not, okay, we're ready to go. He literally gets in the car, closes the door and sits and goes. So I'm like, are we ready to go? And he just looks at me and goes, yes, Adrian, you are taking a test. I'm like, oh, okay. At one point, we ended up getting at a, a red light and he asked me to make a right. In California, you can make a right on red. Obviously, you just have to look around, make sure that you're good to go. So I stopped at the red light and then I pulled up a little bit, turning my wheel to the right as Gilberto taught me. So you pull up, turn a little bit and you look. There was a car two lights down that was on its way to us to pass us. And I was like, oh, you're too, I have two lights down, I can go. As I go to press the gas, he slams the brake and says, that guy is speeding. <laughs> I already knew right then and there I had failed. I knew it because he pressed the brake. And remember from my very first driving test back when I was like 23, 24, I failed because somebody had to step in, intervene. So I knew right then and there I had failed. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it, get the next one. And so I went online, literally again, in the parking lot. The next date was like six days away. And I'm like, okay, six days. Gilberto, me and you, we are focused. We are gonna get this done. And he's like, yes, 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 yes. So I literally would shoot the show that I'm shooting and Gilberto would pick me up from set drive around for two hours and then take me home. So I was super, super focused and literally we're now four days before I have to leave and it is the day to take my test. And I don't know why I felt nervous, but at the same time I had really convinced myself that I don't go to jail if I fail this test. Nothing in my life changes if I fail this test. If I fail this test, God, maybe it's that you don't want me on the road. Like I literally was having full on conversations with the Lord, like, listen, Lord, Jesus, if you know I'm gonna take myself out by driving, don't give me my license. I don't even want it. But if it's your will and you think I am ready, then I, I should pass. So we get there early. I go inside to do my paperwork and everybody kind of starts gathering around and they're just like, you got this. Like, you're, you're gonna be fine. Like, don't get nervous. It's all good. And I was like, thank you guys. And they've always been so sweet. I just want to give a shout out to the Arlita DMV. They are such kind people. And I hate that, you know, the DMV gets a really bad rep. And I even put it on my Instagram that day. I was like, I had a fine time at the DMV today. Everyone was super helpful and super kind. So I'm in the line again, back in my car. I got my paperwork. You wait in the line to come up and in that moment I saw this woman that seemed really joyful. I was like, please God, like I just feel like she's the person that would not make me nervous and I, I just, I hope I get her. And so at some point, sure enough, she walks up to my car and she's like, hi, I'm Martha. She gets in the car with me and we start driving and I actually explained to her that it's crazy how you can literally drive every day, do an amazing job and feel great. And the moment you know you're getting tested, there is something that happens where you're just like, you question everything you're about to do. She just made me feel comfortable. She was like very chill. And she's like, make a right here, make a left there. And 
we come back to pull into the DMV, I'm still like hopeful, like, man, I, I hope I pass this, man. If not, it's fine. I'll come back tomorrow and I'll get a permit and I'll try to take it again. And she literally turns to me and goes, you did great. You passed. And I, I could cry right now thinking about it just because it's something I didn't realize how badly I wanted it. I literally just started crying. I was crying and I was like, I just, I thank you for being so gracious and so kind and making me feel comfortable. So shout out to Martha because it is official, you guys. I have a driver's license. She got out of the car and I just started crying. And I was waiting to see if Gilberto was gonna come around. I tried to pull myself together. He comes around, I tell him I passed. And then I started filming this video right here. I just got my license, I passed. The way that I just cried in the car. <sighs> <laughs> By the way, she said you did a great job. And she was the nicest woman. Shout out to Martha, Martha is phenomenal. She's amazing. Guys, I am a licensed driver. I want to literally scream and jump around. Okay, I'm going to get the license. The next call was to Israel. He's like bugging out. He's like, oh my gosh. You're like, he's like, baby, I knew you could do it. Then I called Lana. And then I actually uh, ended up sending a group chat picture. This is actually the picture right here that I ended up sending to my family group chat, telling them all that I had gotten my driver's license. I also want to know if you have any cute accessories for a car, put the link right here, y'all. Help me out, I wanna make my car so cute. Maybe that's another episode. Would you guys wanna see all the things that I keep in my car? Cause I'm gonna have it completely redone for me. Cause your girl has a license. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe.